Hi, how's it going? Um, I'd like to state to you guys uh, the prayer and men's videos that I've been doing. They are something that's real, real personal to me. Yeah, and I, ha I don't go into too many details and I'm, I'm a little bit vague on some things because the people that I'm addressing them to, um, I was really not a nice person to them. You know who you are. Um, I'm sorry. I truly was an idiot. Uh, this area of prayer and amends has to do with spiritual pride, righteousness, self-righteousness. Um, it has also to do with outright pride, not even spiritual pride, just out, outright pride. What I, I do want to stress to you guys is the fact is, if I ever came at you with ugly attitudes, with um, even cultural pride, I have somebody in my um, in my family that's uh, uh, that's not Filipino. He's he's actually uh, an uncle of mine that's white, and he said before that, oh, you know, you're full of a lot of of ugly uh, arrogance in a, when it came to your cultural identity, and you were it was everything Filipino pride this Pinoy pride this whatever, just a lot of, and he, when it, when he, I would talk to him, it was a lot of a, uh, and he was my uncle. It was a lot, it was it had attitudes of bigotry, had attitudes of of um, racism that I am asking God still take out. It's been 12 years since um, I gave my life to the Lord, but sometimes things have to work their way out slowly. Um, some things God can remove right away. And one of the things was, was attitudes of racism and hostility toward, uh, toward uh, people that weren't Filipino. And so I'm just going to put it out right there. And for me to wear a Chinese shirt, you know, that was a big deal now, because before I always used to be had to wear a Filipino shirt, you know, or something. But it was it was stupidity, you know, stupid pride. It was, uh, uh, it's, and there's nothing wrong with loving your culture, but there is something wrong when you see that as, as the center of the of the universe. Uh, there's a uh, a lot of things that I was proud of that I shouldn't have been proud of. There was a lot of ugliness that I surrounded myself with, a lot of vain, worthless. Uh, idolatry, self-idolatry, uh, that I know for myself that it, it, I was an idiot and I was a jerk. Um, we're going to pray right now. Let's pray. Let's close our eyes. Father God, I ask Father God for forgiveness for any pride that I've had in my life that was not of you, that was not glorifying to, to Jesus. That was out of my self-will and out of, not in your will, Lord God. And anybody that's bound by any kind of pride, whether it be situations with their job, situations with their culture, situations with their neighborhood, with their last name, situations that any kind of pride, situations with their identity, how they identify themselves. Your word says that Lucifer fell from heaven because of pride. And we pray in the name of Jesus that you cast out that spirit of pride with the blood of Jesus. We praise you. Amen. Now, um, some some people might be watching this, these videos these, um, and they might not understand them. And the reason why they don't understand them is because those aren't addressed to them. They're addressed specifically to a couple of individuals that I, that I uh, want to make amends to. So um, I want to thank a couple people for for uh, for these videos, and namely uh, brother brother Andrew, because um, he's the one that told me to start these videos. Uh, I want to thank brother Alex, brother Adrian, um, uh, brother Henry, brother Johnny, brother brother Dan. I pray for you, brother Dan, uh, brother Carlos. Sister Virginia, Sister Rama, Sister Irene, uh, Sister Rannon, Pastor George, Pastor Art, and Sister Sister Irene, uh, my old sisters Victoria, who led me to the Lord, and also to uh, uh, Sister Danielle. And I'm not even going to go into saying any kind of jokes right now. 
but uh, there's a lot more people in my church, in, in the media church, there's a lot more people in my fellowship in Modesto, in Madeira, in Sacramento, in Salinas, a lot of the pastors in our, in our fellowship, Pastor Richard. Uh, I want to give, um, give a shout out to a lot of those family members that are saved. Pray for the rest of the family. A lot of our family is, um, is struggling with salvation. So my cousin, my cousin Anne, Anna, Anne, um, I, we, we ask for prayer for the rest of our family, for, for my other cousins that are Christian believers, pray for the rest of the family because we all need prayer. We can't be bound by, by religious pride. A lot of us were brought up in, in religious households, especially my family in particular, were brought up in a religious household, but it wasn't a relationship with Jesus. Uh, this video goes on, it's a little rambling, but I, I wanted to add that part at the end. Now, God bless you guys. You guys have a good day. And this video is only meant for you guys. So if you don't understand it, it wasn't meant for you. Okay, God bless you. Have a good day.